back to my channel. In today's video, I am so excited to be sharing with you my Notion. Notion is basically an app where you can design your own personal website. I don't know if that's what they say, but it feels like that's what I'm doing. You organize basically your whole entire life on here. Like on my Notion, I have my daily journal, I have my agendas, my to-do list, my notes, how I organize all of my bookmarks, literally everything that you can think of, you can organize on Notion. Freaking love this app. It's amazing, so I'm really excited to share it with you today. So without further further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so this is what my Notion looks like right now. This is the dashboard. And when you scroll down a bit, I wrote out this little quote. Kind of motivates me to do everything. Um, and this is just an overview of chores that I need to do for the week. I have a little Spotify playlist here and I have my navigation. I don't remember how I did this. I think I got it from somebody else's template. If I remember where I get these things, I'll leave the links down below. But this is what it looks like. So in the main navigation menu, I have start and this basically has a link to some like meditations or inspirational things that I like to listen to to get me in the right mindset. So this one is a morning mindset, workday motivation and a self-love meditation. The second one is desktop and this has my journal, my projects, my music. Peace has my manifesting section, scripting, crystal index. My link section has uh, links to products that I want. Digital assets and bookmarks, affiliate marketing. And then index has the index page. A file cabinet where I keep important documents. So I I have physical and digital versions of it and it's honestly easier to find like important documents when they're digital so I have that there and then my archive so I guess I will I don't even know where to start um I'll start with my agenda so this is my notes section of my agenda section I have my to-do list for today yeah basically I have my notebook here and this is where I just keep everything I just started using notion so I don't have that many notes I also cleared out a lot so and I have it organized by tags also I have different views here so this is the list view sometimes it's easier for me to find things if they're under the blocks so this is the grid view and then I also have one for screenshots. So if I'm looking for a specific screenshot, it would show up here. Usually just leave it on the list one though. And then I have pinned notes. This one is my grocery list. And then I have another link to the digital assets and bookmarks because they're kind of the same. Also on days where I just wanna make a quick note that I'm gonna delete later that will not matter in the future, um, I have it under my quick to do. Um, so back to dashboard. Now we have the weekly agenda. I already kind of filled it out for today, or for this week I started to. So this is what I have to do today. It's, this section right here is for my goals, top priorities for the week. And then this section is for just like what I'm gonna do every single day. On the template I made for this, I have these things already. Like these are the things I'm going to be doing every single day, so. I don't have to schedule it, but down here in the scheduled section, that's where I can write my to-do list for the whole entire day. And then at the bottom, we have a weekly recap. I could put my mood overall for the week, um, my productivity for the week, and a little quick journal so that if I wanna go back in the future, I could just say like, okay, this is a productive week because of this, and I could see what I wrote, how I was feeling, etc. cetera. Um, and then I also have a daily template. So I haven't filled this one out yet. Usually once I fill it out, I will change this daily to whatever day it is. I write my main goals, my social, my schedule, blah, 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 all this stuff. This stuff is good. Like I love this page and it's great for days where I just need a quick schedule. But on days that I have a lot of things to do, I usually like to use the daily template or daily planner printable that I have up on my Etsy. It's pretty cheap. I will link that and you can like print it out as many times as you want. But also if you're wondering how it's a template, um, once I finish filling out like this weekly one and once this day is done, I drag these into the archive and then I just like organize it here. This is to sort. It automatically goes in the sorting section and then I just like drag it here. Obviously, I haven't been on top of it, but <laughs> that's what happens. Let's see. So basically, once this is dragged, I will duplicate this and let's see. It'll turn into copy of daily and I'll just rename it to daily and drag it up to this spot. I don't know if there's an easier way to do this, but that is how I've been doing it. And then down here we have 
a little snippet of my project section. I linked my whole entire project archive onto here and I put a filter on it so that it only shows my vlog videos that are being worked on within this week and also my main channel videos that are being worked on within this week. So there will always be only three here, but if you go to my creative projects, it lists everything. And this is kind of my archive where it has the links to the final product, all that kind of stuff, and I can see the status of all these things. Anyways, heading back to the dashboard, um, I think that's pretty much everything that's on the dashboard. Now we'll go to my journal. If you watch my vlogs, you know that I struggle a lot with my mental health. Um, I realized that journaling has helped me keep track of my emotions every single day. So it's been super helpful. Like for example, we will make a new one, new journal entry. So right here I have a lot of prompts. So I'll do one for today. It is May 3rd. It is a Monday description. I usually do the description towards the end of the day. Tags, all of this actually I do towards the end of the day. Um, did not have a dream. Honestly, day's not over, but I've been productive. But anyways, okay, so if I have tasks, I'll like put it here. And right here, I usually put a picture. Uh, morning, I'll fill this out. Afternoon, I'll fill this out. Evening, I usually fill it out as the day goes on, but honestly, I have not been good about it today. <laughs> So I usually delete these prompts and I just like write a general overview. But what's really helpful is that for here example, you could see it was a Tuesday. My mood was okay. Overall, I was unproductive. <laughs> I gave the day a six out of 10. I can also show different views here. Like if I had an argument that day, my overall ratings were like not in the green. <laughs> so that basically shows that like when I have an argument or disagreement with somebody, if there's any sort of disagreement, that really shows that it like completely destroys my day and I focus too much on that. And so that kind of shows that I need to like not let things get to me so much, I guess, sort of thing. I have one for friends. When I see friends, I'm generally more happy and I can see when my mood was above eight stars, like eight stars and above mood good good happy good good and i could see i was calm productive productive eventful motivated eventful productive this one i was happy but i had too much phone time time well spent eventful and calm so on days where i score like an eight and above it's usually because i've been productive or i've been out and about let's see like medium scores i feel unproductive usually days where i'm calm Oh, that was productive. Too much phone time, too much phone time. I'm feeling lazy. So yeah, it kind of shows like, okay, if I want to have a good day, I need to be productive and then I will probably feel really good. I can kind of see like on bad days, what happened that day and how I can fix it. It's all kind of like a little science project for me. Make me more self-aware, what makes me unhappy, what makes me happy. So in the future I can have better days. So that was my journal. That is basically the point of my journal. Okay, projects. This is where I organize everything having to do with like, social media, freelance, all that kind of stuff, my Etsy, Instagram, everything. So the main sections up here, I have my main channel, vlog channel, Instagram, TikTok, merch, and my Etsy. Everything in here is basically shown down here. Like this is my project's archive, has all of this. I showed this before, it shows the status of it. I can click to go to the link if I need to, all that stuff. Okay, and then on the side, I have a little motivation. Whatever I'm feeling, I put there if I want to change it. And my music, use this a lot, milestones, inspiration. So we'll go into main. This is what my main one looks like. I have a little header that I made in Procreate. And that's what I also like about Notion. You can like make gifts as your cover. So here I have requests. So requests for productivity, uh, organizational requests, uh, mental health requests, uh, hauls, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff goes here. Next up goes here. So like once I get a request, I put it under the appropriate category. And when I'm planning out what videos to do for the weeks or the upcoming month, I'll usually like go through here. So for example, like Notion Tour, I'd open productivity, drag the idea into next up. Oops. And then once it's in next up and I'm planning and I'm working on it, then I can drag it into here. Okay. So now this is here, um, I'm actually filming it right now. So we will change it to filming and I can put the dates, 
and the stem, blah, blah, blah. This is what it usually looks like in here. So it's just content, all this stuff. I have a template that I made that has a basic checklist that I go through. So this is charge batteries, clean space, did that set up, check face and hair. I always forget that. And then I'll film a whole entire video with like something weird on my face. So I have that clean space. So you get it. And I have basic like links that I usually put in the description. And that's pretty much it. I also have links to the vlog. My vlog isn't as in depth as my main channel video. It's just vlogging my life. So this one is pretty simple. Merch, pretty simple. Instagram, pretty simple. TikTok, pretty simple. You don't use the TikTok one too much. And Etsy, that's basically how I organize all of that stuff. And if I want an overview of everything, it's just here. But if I want to go more in depth, I will go into each little category. And so now we are going to go into the music section. And I use this a lot when I'm editing my videos. This is where I organize my whole entire music library. And I have it organized by different types of music. Because if you watch my vlogs, I like to really choose songs that like fit for the vibe of what is going on in the video, which is kind of obvious, but like, I don't know. I. I like to do that. So anyways, I have instrumentals. I'll just go through here. All right, so my battery actually died and now my fan is going worse than ever. But anyways, we were talking about the instrumental section. So this is basically what all my other sections look like. Um, so it has peaceful, lo-fi instrumentals, chill instrumentals, and acoustic instrumentals. And for example, if I wanted to use uh, Wild Cherry by Mr. Chase, I was looking for a chill type of instrumental for my video, I would click this, click download, and it would download onto my computer again. This way I can also keep my computer like as free from extra junk as possible. I would take that file for music and drag it into the project that I'm working on. Then once that's done, I archive the whole entire project onto a hard drive, etc. Once I'm done and I'm doing the description for the video, I already have the link to this so I don't have to look it up later. I just copy and paste it into the description so I can give credit where credit is due because that is very important. But yeah, uh, then I have a back link to here and it goes back to my music, my indie plus pop section, guitar section, beat driven type of music. Uh, this is a whole entire section dedicated to Broke for Free, which I use in all of my intros and outros basically on my vlog channel, travel type songs. I haven't figured out a category for here, but I needed it to be a perfect square, you know? So this is holding the placeholder for that. This is comedy and sounds, and this is my festive section, comedy and sounds. Um, I use this audio in all of like the awkward sections of my videos. <laughs> And then I have a, a download link for a cassette tape sound, um, censored TV broadcasting sound, text, rewind, white noise, all that kind of stuff. Let's go back to music. This is my festive section. So I have instrumentals, traditional sounding ones, acoustic, and these have been tested to make sure that they are not copyrighted. And I always, 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 give credit where credit is due because that's very important people spent a lot of time making this music and we should all give them credit for it so there is that that's the music section um i also have thematic music that i want to try out later um then i have playlists on youtube to sift through uh premium songs to check out later um and this is a link to thematic this is a link to a channel that shows a lot of music and most of it is copyright so i just like sift through that and see if i find any good ones every so often and then this is a link to download SoundCloud sounds. So there is that. That's my whole music section. Uh, let's see. So we went through journal, projects, music. Uh, this is the peace section. So manifest. When I'm struggling with like my mind, I'll go here for career. I just put my goals and stuff for body. Uh, I put my body goals, like the stuff I want to work out. Um, and then my home. Uh, so for example, my mind. Um, this is what this section looks like. I have meditations for self-love, for friends, for relationships, and these are nice affirmations that I like. I also have a backlink to my scripting section, and if I do a meditation, I will have it linked here. Like, this is for the mind, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's go to the home section, for example. Uh, I basically have a checklist of everything that I want to do. Also scripting. Yeah, I'm not gonna get too into that. And then crystal index. I've been getting more into crystals, but also like who hasn't been getting into crystals lately? But yeah, I used to collect rocks as a kid, found out that they're called crystals. 
I have so many from when I was a child. So I've been like trying to learn more about them. I have an index where I write down like what crystal I have and what it's for, the meaning of it, and like where to put it best in your room. Yeah, I've been filling this out bit by bit. Really enjoy that section. I think it looks pretty. And then here we have my wish list. So this is like stuff I need to shop for. Um, when I buy them, I'll put them in the archive. Not obviously, I've been trying not to shop, so this is very bare to be honest, the wish list. But I have it anyways, just in case. And then digital assets and bookmarks. Uh, let's see. So I have my bookmarks on this side. Uh, when I do my vlogs, I need to know the week of the year. So it shows that and this is the day of the year. Also helpful for my vlogs because years ago I just decided that I wanted to be very tedious <laughs> with my vlogs format. So there's that. And these are links to visit later. So this is like a YouTube one and spiritual one. This is a song link, so I tagged it as music. This is my Shopify thing and for business and I want to go back to that later. Don't have too many bookmarks, uh, but every so often I'm like, I need to remember this, but I don't want to close this bookmark. So I'm just gonna put it into my bookmarks things to watch later uh, or visit later. Then I have fonts that I use that I need to reference. Back to, um, so that's that section. Then I have affiliate marketing. Honestly, this is kind of bare. I'm trying to get more into affiliate marketing, so I have that section for when I get more into affiliate marketing. But now we have the index. So this is the index. It basically has a link to my file cabinet, which is on the other page, but whatever. Fitness, like workouts that I like to do, monthly goals. Uh, every month I'll fill out one of these situations. Like, let's see, for September. My main goals for the month, it has a little calendar. Uh, and it has the weeks by week of the year. And then I could do a monthly overview. So that's that section. Um, I have my grocery list. Basically that. I can check it off or uncheck it as I go. My money diary. I'm not gonna show that because it has all my expenses on there and like income things. Uh, inspiration. Battery. Okay, inspiration, uh, thumbnail inspiration, video stills, videos I love for inspiration, um, ideas, merch ideas, uh, nail ideas, stuff like that. Then I have my language section. This is where I had a lot of notes from when I was dancing a lot. I do plan to start dancing again. I did Tahitian dancing and my teacher loved to teach us the culture and the language. So I had a lot of notes on my phone just scattered throughout my phone. I one day just sat down and organized all of this. Uh, so this is shows if it's like what language it is, Tahitian, Hawaiian, uh, there are a few Samoan ones on here, but let's see. The definition, what it means, it's a nose flute, most pure air, can't lie with your nose, blah, blah, blah. Little description, and then if there's a variation, I would put it here. I don't know where it says language twice, actually. Word, and I have like what category it is. Like if it's a word, if it's a number, if it's a drum beat, if it's a word and a drum beat, stuff like that. Like, let's see. Baea is a district slash city on the west side of Tahiti and it's a word and it's also a drum beat. Basically that is my language section. I have templates, like if I find a template online, it's always hard for me to go back. I haven't found a template since. Actually, do I have anything in here? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, well, this is my first notion as a rough draft, just in case I need to reference it again. This is for when I find templates on Notion and I want to reference back to them because I made the mistake of not saving those templates under this template thing. And then for file cabinet, um, basically I have like sections for taxes, IRS, Jeep Grand Cherokee, my car, credit. I need to organize this more. I have a lot of papers back there that need to be organizing that I just want to take pictures of and put here. But yeah, so if anything is like archived and I don't need it anymore, I will take it and I will place it under archived. But that's my file cabinet. It's been helpful so far. And then in my archive, I just have, oh yeah, I talked about this. Wait, are we done? I feel like I was rushing through that and I thought it was gonna take a lot longer, but I think we're done. Oh wow, I think we're done. So yeah, this is basically what it looks like. It's an overview. The main things that I use here are the project section because that is how I literally organize all of my projects. Like 
having this has been so incredibly helpful. And I like how it can be linked to these like subsections. To be honest, I got a lot of inspiration for how I organized uh, from, I think it's twirling pages. I'll link her video down below because it was very helpful for me. It was kind of like the bones of mine. Uh, it doesn't really look too much like hers, but there are some parts that do look like hers, so I will link it down below. I wanted to make it as my own as possible, so this is what I ended up with. And also, I made this uh, open and close like this because if I'm looking at this on my phone, it automatically shrinks to this way, and so it's just a lot of like pictures going up and down. So if I don't need that, um, I just close that on my phone and I have easy, quick access to my notes weekly and daily. And a quick overview of this so I can open up and check things off as I need to. And that is pretty much it. So that is my notion. Okay, I'm I'm done. So that was my notion. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video helped give you inspiration on how to organize your notion, how to design it. I don't know. I feel like mine was pretty simple, but I really like the way it looks. I really like the way it functions. And honestly, I'm a perfectionist, so it probably will not be my finalized notion. I also know that I will for sure be making it more festive for fall and for Christmas. Very excited for that. So if you'd like to see that later on in this year, let me know and I will definitely do that. But anyways, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked, subscribe, subscribe to my vlog channel, commented, liked, turned on post notifications, all of that stuff. Seriously, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me and I will see you next week and one new weekly vlog on my vlog channel. Bye.